This is the VOA Special English Education Report. About 18,000 refugees from Burma have come to the United States each year since 2007. Some have settled in Howard County, Maryland, between Baltimore and Washington. A local school began teaching English to the children of the refugees. But while the children learned the language, their parents did not. That makes communication with teachers difficult. Currently, almost 50 Burmese youngsters attend Bowman Bridge Elementary School. Laurel Conran is a teacher there. The main idea is the global idea. She teaches English to speakers of other languages. Today we were doing text structures. I wanted them to know the vocabulary, the language of text structures, so when they go back into the classroom and work with their peers, they can do this successfully in the classroom. One of her students is Ta Ne Jung. Another student is Ta Ne's mother, Tin Young. Ms. Conran practices English with Tin Young at the mother's workplace. Many Burmese refugees work at Coastal Sunbelt Produce, a supplier of fruits and vegetables to restaurants and other businesses. Laurel Conran started classes at the company to help refugees from the country, also known as Myanmar, learn English. The program is a six-week session. It's once a week on every Wednesday from 12 to 1 o'clock. So every Wednesday, I go to Coastal Sunbelt. As the Burmese workers eat lunch, they also practice their new language skills. They sit in small groups with an English-speaking volunteer. Lisa Chertok has a child at Bowman Bridge. She is also a manager at Coastal Sunbelt. She helped Ms. Conran develop the lessons, which she says have really helped. Well, when the Burmese employees got here, they were very, very shy. Now, I find that they are more responsive as employees. They're more communicative. They're also, as parents, they are more involved in their children's school. Jonathan Davis is the principal of Bowman Bridge Elementary School. And I really see it as a, the beginning of a great partnership between a business and a school. And we've just begun to scratch the surface with how that could benefit, really, the greater community. Mr. Davis hopes the lessons will help Burmese parents feel better about communicating with the school. Even as simply as making a phone call to say that their son or daughter is sick, even if that's the amount of English that they've gotten from the program, that truly will help us. Please welcome Laurel Conran and Lisa Chertok. For their work, the two women received a Community Builders Award from Howard County. I love this program. As a community, you want to work together collaboratively. Because when everybody works together, it's a win-win situation. And that's the VOA Special English Education Report. You can read, listen, and learn English and much more with our programs and activities at voaspecialenglish.com. You can also watch a video about the Howard County program on our website. And you can find captioned videos at the VOA Learning English channel on YouTube. I'm Steve Ember.